Hey, Smokey, how you doing, mate? I'm very good, thank you very much for asking, very good. Looking forward to a bit of this, to be honest. And yes, wash your hands, you've got to keep those hands clean. Especially at the current climate, isn't it? That's one of those things, you've got to keep them clean. Hey Pan, how's it going? Pan, I'm still waiting for you to message me on Discord, mate, so I can sort you out, uh, Gold Rush. Uh, hey dog mate, how are you going? I'm doing very well, thank you very much. I was just chilling out with a bit of your, uh, a bit of your, a, a bit of your stream from the other night on Green Hell, mate. Like I'm loving it. You should have threw Will to get that snake though. I'm, I swear to God, I would have killed it. Uh, hey Steph, how are you, mate? Hope everybody is doing well. Thank you for coming to join me. All. Uh, give me two minutes. We'll get started. I'm just gonna sit here, drink my coffee, and smoke a bit more of my vape before we get going. Right, I'll chat to you. I'll, like, it's a lot easier to to talk than what it is to type. So yeah, I figured I'd turn my mic on and say hello. <laughs> it's all good, dog man. Yeah, no, I didn't manage to get a chance to watch all of it, but I will be going through and uh, and watching it. Uh, sorry, friend, I just had to do it. Oh, no worries at all, fam. But when you are ready for it, mate, just um, drop me a message on Discord and uh, I'll set you up and get you that game. Just while I'm waiting for the countdown, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button for me. That'd be greatly appreciated, of course. Massive, massive help. There we go, the uh, countdown's over, so good evening everybody, hope everybody's amazing, welcome back to Fishing North Atlantic here on the PS4. So tonight, those of you that join me on Sunday, you'll know that we had a, a good go at deep lining. Now, since the stream, I did go back out, and let me just move my phone because my, my phone causes problems. Um, so yeah, I did go back out and I managed to find some tuna. I actually managed to find them, I'll show you quickly. I actually managed to find a tuna over near over here somewhere around here so I ended up getting all the tuna and now I have ended up with just short of two million pounds I did have over two um like with um the tuna I managed to call in like eight hundred thousand pounds worth of tuna which is amazing I'm really really happy with that um, but then I got the rescue service and, and all of that business. So that took me below the 200 million, uh, the 2 million mark. Um, but tonight I thought I, I went forward a few weeks. Hey, Christy, how are you? Um, I went forward a few weeks because I wanted to go have a go at lobsters. Now, I haven't kitted up for lobster. Um, so we're going to be kitting up for lobster and we are going to go through and have a little crack on the lobster. So, the first thing we need to do is obviously go in here into the dock and change our rigging and rigging for lobster fishing. Uh, yes, we do want to do the tutorial for it. Now, we need to go now and get our fishing gear. So, buy small pots. And uh, we're going to buy maximum pots, I reckon. Like, why, why the hell not? Why would you not buy maximum? 
Uh, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should just buy 40. Yeah, 40 pots. Nah. Yeah, I can only buy 40 anyway. 40 pots is a good number. So we're going to buy 40 pots. And there we go. We have got 40 pots. Bang. And buy three unbated pots. So I bought 40. <laughs> My bad. Uh, okay, so now we have to bait them. And so we got to buy... Oh, we can only bait 20 of them. Okay, that's fine. We can live with that. Hey, Kevin. Hi, everybody. Wow, loads of people dropping in. How is it going, everybody? Uh, so, fishing North Atlantic now and watching sheep. Oh, yeah. Can't go wrong with that, mate. Uh, right, so we're going to bait up all of our lobster pots. And done. Right, now, that's everything. To oh, before we do... Let's make sure that we, we're we full of fuel and stuff. Tank is full, boat is undamaged. Awesome. So, yeah, I have gone and got all the services on my boat in case I mess up. So we have got a insurance and we have also got a breakdown service. We got double A. Double A for boats. So we're going to head on out. And the tutorial... And a regular habitat has been spotted and a marker has been set. Head over there for your first haul. Uh, you can open the map and follow the marker on the top of the screen in third person. Okay. So we're going to get out of here. Uh, bang. Let's see where the marker has been set. Over here. Yeah. So what we're going to do, I'm going to quick travel to there. And then we're going to drop down. Uh, I was just doing the lobster tutorial. My game crashed. Oh, no, Steph. Right, okay. So I'm going to be smart then. So we're going to save it. <laughs> Bang. Because, of course, the game has got bugs. So please, ladies and gents, if I crash, you'll have to bear with me. Right, and that's get right in the center of that circle. Bang. And then, bang. And we're going to fast travel on over. I hope you didn't lose too much work, though, Steph. And boss. Right. Oh, we're, we're not inside the circle. But that, that's typical, isn't it? Come on, in. Nothing's showing up on my radar, guys. Wow. We've got crabs on. Oh, there we go. Right, I'm going to reverse in, because... Like, I still haven't figured out. We've got side thrusters, but I really don't feel like they work. Like, they might work. They just go really bloody slow, and it's boring. So, I saved up uh, around 950k with longline fishing. Nice stuff. I tell you what, mate. Like, one thing I swear by is finding... Hang on. Is finding tuna, man. Tuna is where it's at with long line fishing. I swear to God, I swear by tuna. All right. Um, cut the engine there. Uh, okay. Now that you've reached the market, it's time to process your feed. Process your frozen bait for the pots. Now, before we do this, this is something I really recommend people do. What you want to do is... Place a marker where you are, okay? It is real, real important that you do this because then what happens is, is that when you go out, you go back, you process it, you can go back to that same spot and the, and the, the, the fish will still be there. Like I'd done it previously, I'd done it with the swordfish, with the harpoon in. I went in, I sold them and I went back out to the same spot and they were still there. So it is really worth marking those spots. Okay, so switch. Du, 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 du. let's go to the deck. Open the door. Oh, look at all these pots. Grab a frozen break box from the freezer. Where's, where do I go? Freezer, ah, freezer. There we go. Open freezer door. Grab frozen bait. Yes. Did I close the door? No. Now we're going to go over and we're going to put them, load the bait, 
And we're going to close the freezer. Save, save the energy and stuff. Now. Oh. Pull the lever. Cut bait. Huh. That is awesome. I like that. That is pretty cool. Grab one of your stored pots. Grab pot. And ba, 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 grab bait. And now what? Is that it? I'm assuming now. Place unbaited lobster pot. Bait pot. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh, it's a shame you can't see it, though. And then you've got to set it. And then job's a winner. In goes the boy. Now that you've set you need to wait a minimum 18 hours. The time is now skipped forward 20 hours. Uh, okay, so we're saying about 20 hours, which is all right. Hey, Mike, my, my man, how are you? Uh, okay. So go to third person. Oh, we've got to go over here now again, and we've got to haul it in. Place gear. Oh. Grab the line, is it? Grab the pot from the line and place it in the sorting box. We need the sorting hat. Where's the sorting hat? Where's the line? Using the power lever. Oh, maybe that's the power lever. There we go. Hold the line, baby. Oh, you got to hold it down. Okay, that's cool. That's nice, actually. It's a nice tap. Naturally, I'm going to get workers to do that. Grab the pot. Place the pot. Place it on the sorting table. No, that's the thing. There's the sorting table. Open pot. And look at that, we got some lobster in there. Grab lobster. Okay. So, it's got to be a certain size. So that is three inches. So we've got to return that one. Three inches, return the lobster. Oh, hang on. Grab crate. Place crate. Open. Take two. Da, 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 da. Not for two. Okay. Take a lobster and use the measurement tool to measure the lobster. The upper body of the lobster has to not fit between the two pins of the measurement tool from the eye. The upper body of the lobster has to not fit. They need to make this a bit more sense. Hey, Dan B, how's it going, my friend? I work for free lobster, okay? Definitely done. Okay. Uh, East Creek and Ho. Okay. Right, Dan, that's, that's, I think I just chucked away two good lobsters. Bang. So the upper body and the head needs to fit within the free object. Okay. Oh. Attach elastic bands. Add lobster. Okay, so I feel like this is going to be the place to go. Now that goes up to the body and the eyes. 
I think. Huh. So I'm going to. Attach elastic. Add lobster. So that looks. That looks too small to me. Because the upper body and the eyes, you can see his eyes there, need to fit between the pins. And so to me, that that's kind of outside the criteria, but it's telling me that it's fine. Yeah, this is a good place to stand. Like, I think once we've done this tutorial, I'll be getting my workers to do most of this. But it's nice to see it firsthand. Like, this is kind of exciting. Quite, oh, that's a big one. That's a big boy. Lobsters, anybody? Anybody want to buy some lobsters? Backy band them. And let's add them in. Store the crate and the tank in the floor. So close. Grab crate. Store crate. Okay. Right, so. Ooh, 100 kilograms of lobster. Oh, nope, I didn't want that. I want fish prices. Uh, lobster, lobster, lobster is like a brown color. Uh, 26 a kilo, 27 a kilo. We'll go to 27. Ingalls head. So we're going to go to Ingalls head. Oh, it's saying I've got to go there. Okay, I go back there. Right? I go back there. That one is small. I was thinking that, right? It didn't look about right. They look small. But for some reason, they will let me have them. I don't know why. And I don't know how to get rid of them. So, I'm kind of... Right, enter the port. And that's saying, would you like to sell your fish? Yes. I gained... Got the report and sell your fish. Okay. So, we've got 1,207. And that's just for one pot. That isn't too bad. Don't get me wrong, I'll have to do 800. Ooh, that's actually not that great. Fines. Undersized lobster. Yes, there were two undersized lobster. So I got fined. Like, uh, I think there's, yeah, we've only got one thing to do okay right uh let me just make sure i got my workers ah there we go okay let me just make sure i got my workers uh time crew on board yes i've got two workers on board so we're geared up now i'm gonna go back out there and i'm gonna show you what i mean so there's the lobster thing there look so we've done the tutorial it was that easy Uh, it's quite complicated, all that measure. I know, right? This is why I'm going to get other people to do it. <laughs> oh, hang on. We've got... We've got some fish over there. Uh, I I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go to that point again. Bang, bang. And we're going to go there. Uh, having internet issues, no worries at all. Uh, did you see Bounty come in, she? Bounty? Okay, so. Right, let's set my workers. Preparing bait. Bait and set. And we're going to let them work a minute. 
Let's see what we're looking like. Oh, uh, there's not actually that many lobsters here. Huh. Maybe I should have took. There's only a small amount of lobster here, as you can see. In that marker. Which isn't good. Because that isn't going to do us any good. That's not what we need. So, I'm going to scrap that. Naturally, I didn't trust it didn't work. Right? I'm going to go back to port and see if we got any crabbing, lobster pot, and uh, start placing fish position, delete fish position, bang, uh, ba -ba -ba. oh, stop. Right, we're going to go back to port and we're going to see if we can get a tip. Isn't a wish, it's a frustration. <laughs> nice, Mike. Right, uh, let's get some crud tunes going, shall we? Just so we got a bit of music going on in the background. Oh, it's a bit low, isn't it? There we go. A bit of music in the background. Right, let's dock up. We're going to head into town, go to the bar. I forgot to do this. No tips. You buggers. Uh, let's go see if a different one have got any tips. Let's go see Yama from have any tips either. Right, we need to go find some lobsters. Let's see if it says anything on the wiki, fish type. About where we might find them. Uh, along the coast. Right, uh, da, 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 lobster seasons of dependent on the lobster fishing area. Nova Scotia land like over. Yeah, okay, that's great. Yeah, okay, I'm in season. On the seafloor, three or five of pegs have lords. Okay, so there is actually no advice about where to find lobsters. There's a lot of boats by here. I don't know if they're going out or what. I'm going to go back out here. God, this is a nightmare. They're saying like, oh, like the wiki should give you a tip of where they are. It has with all the other fish. But it doesn't seem to want to give a tip. Right, there's one there. Come on. They're saying there's one up by here, but... But there's no others. I don't get it. You think there would be like a a whole thing of them? But let's just go in a straight line. Let's see what happens. We've just passed one there. But I'm not seeing any other lobs. I'm going to just set. I'm just going to see what happens. It's not showing any here, but... I'm just going to set four pots, so I'm not wasting all my pots. I'm going to see what I come up with, because... There we go. Alright, let's take my workers off. And let's rest them. 
Because I assume that you have to Right, let's go there. How long is left? 32 minutes. So I need to sleep for 20 hours. My first pot should be dead ahead. There it is. So if I go back into... Oh, hang on. There we go. Stop driving. Let's see if we can figure this out. Anchor. Nine. Let's go 20 hours. Drive. Okay, they're saying that there's stuff in them. So let's go in my thing. You can go in there. Because I assumed that we would have to go to just a region that has got them. But this is... This is kind of telling me that you don't. You can just plonk them anywhere. Then you'll get them. But I don't know. I don't get it. Alright, let's get this first one. No fish were caught. Yeah. And this is why I only planted four. Because I was like, nah, that doesn't seem right. Right, we need to go and find a lobster location where we're going to find some lobsters. I don't know if we're going to... We're not going to get any release for I'm glad I didn't plan all of them out. Oh, we got someone there. This is random. Okay. This is going to be hard. I'm not going to lie. We're, there are no lobster, lobster locations marked on the map. Which sucks. No official court. Just as I expected. And this one's going to be the same. Huh. Where to go for lobsters? I'm sorry, folks. Like most of you guys, like, I'm brand new to this. I have not done any... This is my first lobster experience. So I have absolutely no idea what's going on. No lobster thing. Okay. We're going to... We've been to Dennis Point. Let's go to Lockport. Let's see if they give me any tips of where I might find some lobsters. Because the wiki is being absolutely used for us. Like, the, you, the wiki should give me some tips and say, oh, they're okay, finding this depth of water like, like they have with all the other fish, but... Okay, fish market, fishing gear, buy bait. Okay, uh, right. Let's go into town. Uh, tips. Yes, baby. A week ago. That would do. Uh, what else have we got on there? How the pot look redfish and silver head. I just want lobster at the minute. Where did they do that marker? There. Okay. So that is where we're going. Right, let's dock. Uh, maintenance. Fuel. Boat and damage. Awesome. Right, let's get over there. And let's get... Well, I got over there. So we're going to just quick travel to that. Right, we got this now. Now we're, uh, now we're in a roll. We know... Well, hopefully there are going to be some lobsters. Bang. And now we can set the quick travel. And we are going straight up to... 
here. Bang. And let's get up there. Awesome. Let's have a look. That's showing me crab, but no actual lobster. Well, this sucks. A week ago. That tip was pointless. Oh. Oh, I know my workers are going to be shattered, aren't they? Just see lobster coming in at a thousand meters in this course. Ooh. Let's go for a little wonder around here. Let's see if we can find these lobster. There's only one lobster. <laughs> Woohoo! We're, we're gonna be rich from one bloody lobster. You got loads of crabs, but I haven't got a crabbing boat. This boat doesn't do crabbing. It does lobsters, but it doesn't do crabbing. Now we're going to turn around and see if we can get a better look. What we got? Nothing. I've been let down by the fishman. Even that, all the crabs have been eating them all. Oh, hang on. Not too shy. Ah, oh, here we go. We've got three up. Now we've got three lobsters on there. There we go. Going this way by the looks of it. So. Oh. Hang on, whoa, 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 why, why can I not put the fish out? Back in here? Oh, that's why you're sat on the wrong bloody thing. I didn't rest them. I'm naughty. I'm a bad captain. You can go and bait in, and you can go on setting those... Get to work, my friends. What's the best selling thing in the game? Or well, the prices vary. So the prices do fluctuate, Kevin. Um, according to the wiki, lobster are one of the most profitable things. But I, I don't know. I, I can't tell you at the minute. Because, like, so far, tuna has been my best seller. And there seems like there's a nice influx of tuna around here. Right, set the pot, and let's go. <clears throat> yeah, tuna, to me, has been the biggest input. Now, we're not in tuna season, so that won't be tuna. I think that might be pollock. But, um, so, that's what I've had the biggest hold on so far. Uh, and we're going to try these lobsters out. And see if these guys make me a bit of money. Because these guys should, in theory, give me a lot of cash. But there's not many lobsters here. No, they're not that bad, actually. It's, they're still creeping onto the screen, which is good. We're just going to keep going in this direction. And, and hope that we get... More like I'm going to assume though that netting is going to bring in the biggest amount of fish, but I don't know. Like, netting, we're going to try out on the next stream, but we'll see how we get on with pots. If we don't get on too well with pots, then then we'll be doing we'll try netting out instead and seeing what it's like with netting. But so far, tuna has been the, my biggest income, and if I go in the in the finances. 
you can see there tuna 40 45 pound per kilo so in my eyes i would go tuna then swordfish then lobster and crab and then cod but it all comes down to how much you catch if that makes sense like by the prices tuna is the biggest income but it all fluctuates depending on how many you bring in does, does that make sense so i'd like to say tuna all right they're still popping up on the screen so i'm going to continue in this direction for a bit and then if they stop coming up on the screen i will um None have come on, on screen for a minute. Yeah, they are still coming up on screen, so I can keep going in this direction. Um, so yeah. Now tuna is good money. Like like I said, I put out 35 lines off stream, and I managed to bag myself like 800 grand worth of tuna. Like I was very happy with that haul. But we'll see how we get on with this now. Like, we'll, we'll set 30 lines, or we'll set them all if we have got the space for them all. And uh, we'll see how we get on with these. They're still coming up on the screen, so... That's good. We're going to keep setting until they stop appearing on the screen. When they stop appearing on the screen, we'll stop placing... We'll double track and we'll set them back. But they're not showing up in like abundance at the minute. There's more Pollock than there is anything in the map. But they're still showing. So as long as they're still showing, I'm hoping I win the Nobel Prize of Fishing and get some, at least. No worries at all, Kevin. They're still showing up, so why they show in, I'm setting. Wow, look at all those pollock. Uh oh it's mackerel. Okay. Uh start placing fish, select fish type. I'm going to select them, stop selecting. I'm going to put a macro sign there because uh, you can see there, look at that macro. That is a nice influx of macro there. Oh, concentrating too much on the thing. I wasn't looking at the, the fish camera. But that could net me a good haul. Now macro, I think you get through netting. So I'll bear that in mind. We'll try out this now and we're going to give it a go. Let's cramp lobsters are still showing up. So we're going to go for it. And if the worst comes to the worst, we're going to come back and we're going to hit that mackerel instead. Like they're still coming up on the meter. So why they're still coming up? I'm still setting. Uh, that's not a bad little load. They're getting a bit more clumped together now. Oh, now they're definitely getting more clumped together. They're looking a bit better. We're going to keep going this line until we run out. But I'm hoping that I can continue this line and then... We, when we're picking them up, we can just drive along the line and pick them up. Naturally, it's not an overabundance of lobster. But it's not too shabby. Like, I'm pretty gutted, to be honest. Like, in the previous seasons, like, when we were in the last stream, there was an abundance of, of lobster. Like, they were everywhere. Everywhere. 
but clearly they don't want to be that today they want to be somewhere else if i do come across a massive cluster like i am now i'm going to place start placing fish select fish bang stop selecting fish i'm gonna put another lobster sign there because I think we're coming into a bit more of a cluster. So they're migrating to the east. If I'm right. Which is good sign. Good sign. We can keep our fingers crossed now. But I'm going to keep following this line. And then if there are no more lobsters, I know then that i got to work between those two lobster marks. They're kind of giving me waypoints, like to work between the two points. There's some tuna coming into the screen now. Is that the end of them? I can't see any more coming in. I'm not going to place any more if there are no more. Oh, there's still some more. So we're going to keep placing then. No, you might like now. I've done this totally, totally wrong. Ah, they're coming, still coming in. That's 20 line, 20 pots so far. Keep plotting them, I go on. So like you basically want to try and get the pots when they're at like the 62 meter, when they're where the depth marker is. Oh, a massive load there. Please stay like that. So, can you see that massive clump there now uh, in that depth meter? That is when you want to be placing the pots. And it goes the same with any fish. As long as they're in there, that is the ideal placing spot. And then when they get past that, you're less likely to hit that clump and, and so forth like that. If I remember, if I'm right with the meter anyway, if I, if I remember it right. Wow, there's loads of pollock along here. I'm surprised they're not eating the lobsters. Alright, they've gone off the screen again, so I'm, oh, nope, they're coming back in. Oh, look at this, I'm on. Fire. And now they're stopping again. Oh, no, nope, they're still in there. I'm going to keep going. While they're in there, I will keep planting. Or dropping, or... Dropping pots. Yeah, that's what we can call it, dropping pots. We'll keep dropping pots as long as they are in there. We'll go for 30 pots, I think. We'll, we'll start out on 30 pots if we can. The odd tuna, but lots of pollock. We're out of season on tuna anyway, so... We won't catch any tuna. Nothing on the screen, so I'm going to wait. And see if anything comes up. Yeah, there's one coming in there. But I think we might be at the end of, of our pots. i got three more pots to place. And I know they're still coming. While the lobster is coming, I'm still potting. I'm not guaranteeing I'm going to do very well with this haul. I'm not going to lie to you guys. If I can get two more pots in, I'll be happy. 
Yeah, they're still coming in. Oh, wow, look at that. That is an abundance of them. Are you going to let me set that last pot? This looks like another clump of them. I might keep going. And if I keep going, if this cluster stays, then... No, that doesn't look like our cluster's finished, no? No, that cluster's still there. Thirty-one pots. Just scoping out the rest of us. I'm gonna invest then. Nah, that, that's about it. Okay, I've already done one, so I'll, I'll chuck out one in. Right. There we go. Just brought Dexter Trawler. Nice. Okay, so we've got 30 odd lobster points. So bang. Bang. And now we're going to come in. Bang. We're going to see how then. So three hours, so that's going to be, let's say four hours, so that's going to be 16 hours. Let's go 17 hours rest. So we're going to anchor, oh, come out. Uh, 17 hours. Drive, bang. Through up, let's get these guys ready. Crop pull. Bang. Let's crab sort. Goes. And let's go. It's four million. Wow. I guess not bad, though. Like. If you think of it, if I got 800 grand from one lump of tuna with a couple of good fish runs. Ah, oh, it's quite a nice lobster that way as well. Maybe we'll go the other way next time. I just got to pray now that I actually got some fish. Fish. Lobsters. Come on, babies. Make my day. Yes, they got some. That's good. And they collect them quite quick, which is good. Oh, hang on. Uh, storage. We'll let them do all the sorting. I don't have to bloody do all that measurement crap again. Uh, come on in. How much money are we going to make? The four millions. A fair whack. Actually, thinking of it. What? It's four good two, five good tumor runs? What are you doing? Okay, so they need. I need to take my time between each part. Okay. Yeah, like I, I really like this game. I think it's like the chilled out nature of the game. Like, unlike like Gold Rush, it's which is incredibly grindy. Yeah, there's a bit of a grind to this, but it's a lot more. Thinking about how you're going to do it, if that makes sense. Does that make sense for everybody? Like, it's a bit more strategy. I know Gold Rush, you've got to drill the, the plane and... 
and stuff like that but with with this it's it's more about trying to find the locations of these fish or where you are go all right we're doing all right so far we're getting fish i keep saying fish you you guys know what i mean like. the four million is a lot of money to be fair this is gonna take a while Oh well, right. Ah. But right now I'm just driving. Let my men do all the work. I'm I'm a proper lazy lazy fisherman. <laughs> Going a bit far out, I think. Flip it around. There we go. You got ya. There's lobsters in that as well. Let's move on to the next point. Where is that? There it is. Let's keep going. So, so far, so our max capacity is like 40,000 kilograms. So, so far, we've got 400 kilograms. Coming up to 400 kilograms, anyway. Right, let's start slowing down because we're fighting tides here, though. That's like kind of lined up perfectly. How much do you think we're going to get from this hole? We are like five lines through. Hmm. I don't think we're actually going to make that much money. And go and look at this in time as well. So this is actually quite a time consuming action to be taken like swordfish and tuna is actually quite a quick turnaround but this is a bit of time Ooh. decisions decisions what do we do all right let's move on to the next one i think we're getting a bit of a roll on here now Come on, Walker. Alright, come on in. Stop. Yeah, baby. Look at that. Oh, no. back was a bit good lad back was a bit more maybe i don't think i could have lined that up any more perfectly for him uh, swordfish is expensive but delicious if you ever had a chance to eat it then take the opportunity that's it i, I would like to try like I would love to try different kind of animals. I think the one fish that I really wouldn't want to eat, though, is shark. Like, seeing the brutality sharks go through is... is kind of brutal. Like, so I don't think I could ever eat that. Like, I watch. I don't know if you guys have watched it or if you've heard of it, but... Ross Kemp done a really good documentary about shark fin soup. Uh, go yeah, Gordon Ramsay done it. And uh, it was a really, really good documentary. Like, I really like Gordon Ramsay. Like, he he really done it in a very good way. The sort of way that kind of, like, 
puts it into perspective. And, like, you've got to feel sorry for the sharks. Like, they're just... Yeah, it's, it's brutality. It's, it's really mean. And I don't think I could ever eat it or try it because of that. It's... It's bad. Don't do it. But I've, I've never... I can't say I've ever tried. I don't think I've... Oh, a thousand kilograms. There we go. I saw that. It's so very sad. I know, right? It was horrible. Like, I love that they brought in laws there where... They, um... They have to bring in... The fish, they can't just chuck the fish back out of sea, which was great. And, but of course, like in the port thing, it's not regulated. Like, they, they, they just turn a blind eye to it. And I, the, the officials turned a blind eye to it. And I was thinking, well, that's absolutely disgusting. Why, why would you turn a blind eye to it? Like, what do you gain by turning, what does anyone gain by turning a blind eye to it? Like, but it was a really, really good documentary. I, I, like, I, I do recommend. If you haven't watched it, I do recommend it because it is a really, really good documentary. And um, he's very blunt, isn't he? Like, and that's what I like about him. He's, he's very blunt to the point, and he will tell you straight. And that is what I really liked about him. Like, Gordon Ramsay's a lad. Uh, don't get me wrong, what he does in the kitchen and the way he speaks to people, I think is disgusting. But the way he presented that show was top-notch, phenomenal. And then, of course, he, he ended up in a real good positive because he got a load of um, he got a load of restaurants to, to stop selling it in London, which was great and really nice to see. And yeah, it was good. It's going to take a while. We're coming up to halfway. I put 30, didn't I? 32. Uh, the touring is not my thing. I think it's uh, like you've got to keep to a speed, haven't you? I haven't touched it. Like, I remember it in the Baron scene being really quite difficult. It took me a while to get it. But once you've got it, it's highly profitable. And of course, it's it's all about driving a boat, which is fine, like, because it is a fishing game. I don't know what else to expect, really, but. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm not, look, I'll give it a go. I've got to try it. Like, we will try every type of fishing, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Is my music still going? No. Okay. Ah. Uh... Right. Let's keep going on. Oh, by the way, if anyone has any specific genres of music you want me to play, then just let me know in the chat, and uh, I'll try my best to play it. I can't. Well, I can't do any like big hits or anything like that because of uh, copyright claims and. YouTube being absolute gay and not letting you just play music, even though it's just in the background, I will get claims out of my ears. And over after a certain amount of claims, you get demonetized, and I, I don't really fancy that. Because like, every bit of money I donate, don't get, don't get me wrong, it goes back into into the, into the channel. So whether it be marketing or new games and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I don't really want to be... Save up for crabs. I think crabbing is probably a good way to go. I still swear by the tuna and the swordfish. Oh, there you got it. Good. Like, I still swear by those two types being the most profitable. So, if anything, I would probably... If I could get anything, I would probably go for a bigger tuna and swordfish boat. And just set up two lines on sword, 
one set of lines on swordfish one set of lines up on tuna that's if you can find a tuna let's go back to sauna actually and let's see what we've got so there are a few tuna around here but of course we're not on tuna season at the minute But, um, but yeah, I, I, I pretty much swear by those two things. And if you can find them, do them. Get them. But of course, with the seasons, you got to be careful. So, of course, you need stuff to, to see you through the rest of the seasons. And then start slowing down. Wow, oh, speed loss straight away. And then maybe. Alright, we're, we're halfway through now. And we have got one and a half thousand kilograms of lobster. Which isn't ideal. It would have been nice to have more, but. Ah, oh, goddamn. go let's bring that in and move on to the next one there he is like i feel like though this is something that we have to try we have to try everything like i'm not sure how much crab boats are like i haven't researched any boats like i've researched the ocean runner because i hear that it's the the best boat for for, for like I've, it's the best second boat but I don't know where to progress on boats next like so of course if people have got an idea what boats they recommend to, to progress on to then do let me know and uh, we'll have a look at that All right, let's move on to the next one why those guys are sorting them out there's the next one over there. But I do like this boat. This ocean runner is a really, really nice boat. I, yeah, I like this boat. And I, it's playing games like this though that kind of make you want to go out and actually have a go at doing it in real life. Especially when you see how much the work is in. <laughs> Shit, I'm going to go too fast. Need to slow, 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 slow. There we go, good lad. Where are we at? We're just short of 2,000 kilograms. We're not going to fill my boat. Let's take it that way. I don't think we would ever fill our boat on crabs. Now this has been maxed out with storage. So I have got 40,000, yeah, 40,000 kilograms I can take. And I am nearly 20 lines in. I'm going to say 20 lines in and you're going to get about 2,000 kilograms of crab. I don't know whether that will change if... Stay here for a minute, let them catch up. Like, I know there's lots of crabs where there's crabs. Come on, then, get it before it drifts. There we go. Alright, let's keep moving on. Keep moving on. I'm going to start slowing down here. Because like, I kind of feel like it's a driving game. <laughs> At a minute. Alright, 
I guess nice to try out something new though. Like this is a totally new thing. Uh, Balance C didn't have lobster. So it's nice to give it a whirl. Just sit down and wait a minute. Hey, Shia, my friend. How are you? You come to join us while we're doing a bit of lobster potting. Come on in. A drink. There we go. We're over. We're coming up to two and a half thousand kilograms. It shows you on the map in the top left corner of the map how much you've got. And I, do you know what, guys? I've been playing. Uh, I'm about the same, to be honest. <laughs> nice. Um, so like off stream, like off camera, just in my spare time, I've been spending a lot of time on Gold Rush because the grind of that game has gone insane. Like, I have been spending every moment of time that I have got doing grinding on gold rush and it has been oh we need to go backwards i do now we need to go forward and stop the boat like the grind on that game is insane crazy crazy grind you can't get anywhere quicker than that game <laughs> which is fair enough it's kind of understandable and but god it's been killing me Uh, next line, let's go. I get a minute on Gold Rush. I think I've got like just over 300 grams of gold to do. Like Treasure Hunter Simulator. I have, yes, uh, I've got it in my, I've got it in my wish list on Steam. It isn't released yet, though, is it? Uh, it's in my wish list on Steam. Um, And I think I'm waiting for it to come out. Which is, it's going to be good. It's going to be into, oh, we've got that part. Let's keep going. It's on PS4, is it? Oh, I haven't looked at that. Oh, that sounds good. I uh, literally had no idea what I was watching. <laughs> I might actually have a look at that, Steph. Like, because we're, we're coming towards the end of um, Greenhouse Story Mode. So after that, I'm looking for another game that's kind of got a bit of a story to it. Come on. Pull forward. So... That could be a new game that we go and check out. Because of course I'm I'm really oh come on. Really? There we go. Like right, cause like it's ten euros. Oh that's not too shabby then. That's not too expensive. That's quite a nice little ray actually. Maybe I'll have a look at that. But I'm feeling like we've got maybe one, maybe two more streams of um, the story mode on Green Hell. And then I might do a couple of streams with uh, the community so people can come and play with me and stuff like that, which will be nice. Because like, it would be nice to have play a few games with the, the, the console community and play a bit of that stuff. So, uh, but yeah, I'm always looking for new games. Like, but there's so many games coming out. Like, there's a new, um, a new Ghost Hunter game coming out called Ghost Hunters Corp, which uh, we're going to be checking out when that releases in. Like, which will not be this Sunday. This Sunday we're going to be back on Phasmophobia. It's going to be the Sunday after we're going to go and check that game out for just a bit of variety in life. 
So if you fancy seeing some jump scares, uh, I'll have my camera on for that game as well, so you actually get to see my face. Um, so it's worth coming up and, and having a look at me get scared shitless and have a bit of laugh with uh, the grumpy gits. So if you've never watched any of my things, we, we dug on like a house on fire. It's amazing. Uh, it's made up of uh, Mother of Cats, My Grads, and uh, Medieval Knights, uh, who I'm hoping is going to be back this weekend. Variety is good. It is good. But yeah, uh, TJ... So TJ or Medieval Knights, like a lot of guys in here know who he is, but uh, he's uh, just got him. He's just trying to figure out his schedule now because, um, of course, he is working. So but we're hoping he is going to be back. I almost had to change by PS4 and do uh, so that already. Oh, mate, I've been I'm waiting for PS5 to come back out. Like. I am waiting for the PS5 to, to come out at a reasonable weight where I can actually afford to buy one. I am not playing scalper prices for it. I refuse to do that. But no, you're right, Mike. Variety is very good. We need our sacrificial lamb back. Indeed, we do. I'm really excited to have TJ back. Really miss TJ. I mean, it'd be cool as well because we can also get like the multi perspectives of the game and this uh this ghost hunters corp looks pretty brutal there's going to be a lot of jump scare moments in it like the ghost can actually come out of the house instead well to be fair mike has been playing the sacrificial line quite a lot oh too tired to work no way I mean, I'm going to have to do all of it myself. I'm going to have to do it all myself, man. Uh, bang. Stop driving. Come on. Stop driving. What are we missing? Why can't I not do it? What's going on? I'm, I'm going to put you back out to work, mate. And I'm going to be smart. Oh, I can't save. <laughs> God damn. And the smudger and escape at us. There we go. Right. Uh, go into my workers now. Rest him. I'm going to move him on to sorting. Close. Oh, right. Okay, I need to go back into the... Is he going to bring it in? Okay, so I'm going to have to do this. All right.
Guten Abend. Oh, really? Okay. All right, let's get that worker back on Brad Paul. Goes. Because he doesn't have much work to do. Hopefully, he's got the energy to do it. Hopefully, he doesn't get too tired. We've only got a couple of left, so hopefully... Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully... But no, what, what's happening with the PS5 at the minute, actually? I wouldn't have con so, so, PS5, I think, is like... They've outsourced the material, haven't they? Because there is a material that is, can't be sourced. I can't remember exactly what it is off the top of my head. So they've outsourced it. And they've designed it that avoids using a certain part or something. Which they are making and hopefully going to come out more at, this, at some point soon. I'm not entirely sure, but I've got my fingers crossed that... They start coming back and the scalpers get pissed off because they can't sell their crap anymore. They can't sell them for ridiculous prices anymore. And then I, I get to laugh at them because they all sell them for discounted rates. Because there's an abundance of them, so they'll go for cheap. Ha ha ha. Because like the amount of times I have been tempted. Like if I've seen one selling on that. Uh, on eBay, I put in an offer for the retail price of the, the thing. I'm not bothering with... I'm not going to play any inflation. And I know, like, the likelihood of me actually getting one because of it. Uh, next to none. I still do it, because I feel like I want to make a statement. But I am not being... I am not being conned into spending seven eight hundred pound on something that costs for 350 quid new I, i'm not doing it it's just not gonna work for me now don't get me wrong on my 3070 i did um but i'm glad i did so i managed to get my 3070 for like 500 quid and and after i got it after christmas they're now at like eight hundred eight nine hundred quid and if I, I was going to be faced with paying that sort of money for it, I would have killed myself. I, I think that's ridiculous. And I feel really sorry for the people that have gone and paid that much for it. Two more pots. There we go. We got just over 3,500 3, kilograms of lobster. And this is done off the same amount of lines that I've done with my tuna. And with my tuna, I made over £800,000. And I don't think I'm going to make that with this. I think I'll be lucky if I make fifty grand, Which will then not make this cost effective at all. But at least we tried it, we've experimented, we've learned it, we've checked it, we tried it, and we find out exactly if it's worth it. Because we've got to do it, haven't we? If we don't do it, it's bad. So, last part. Let's see what we get. Is the music stopped, or is it just me? Yep, the music has stopped. Uh, hang on, I get this last part. Um, music recommendations, genres, ladies and gentlemen. I need some genres for music. Nothing heavy, I'm not doing metal. Not really my style. Let's get this last part. And then we'll see how much we make. So, chuck your music gemmas in there. The first one that chucks in a gemma gets that style of music. 
Oh, just get comfortable. I need to put my glasses on. My eyes are open. That's better. Last part. Last part. Come on, baby. E, and there we go. Right. Now, what do we have? 3,869 kilos. Right. Let's stop this for a second. Uh, go over to finances, fish prices, lobster, 25 a kilo, 25, 26 a kilo. 26 is the best I've got. Okay, and that is our Ingalls head. But while we're here, I'm going to, I want to go and have a look at this. I want to go see what that is. Let's go see what we got. It's a quick travel point. That'd be awesome. Uh, you, my friend, can rest. That everyone rested. German bank. And you can rest. What does that mean? Does that mean there's a bank there or? I don't know. I don't get it. Why German bank? The depthometer isn't showing any bank. Oh, 58 meters. Actually, that is a bit of a bank. Okay. Uh, Ingle Head, which is up here, not that one, which means it's this one, Ingle's Head, there we go. Let's head to Ingle's Head and see how much we make. Now, we're going to do the Getty, it's a fast travel point. Um, we are going to, before we sell, we're going to do the Getty's, uh, the Getty cheat on board. Uh, rest, rest, bang. Now come out of it once you rest them. Bang. Yes. We got 104,000. Now that was a lot of work for 104,000 pounds. That is insane. We are not doing that again. No way are we doing that again. So, I think we have determined there. Yeah, lobsters are not really worth it. Like, we do not get enough. So, what we're going to try is net fishing. So, we have done longline fishing. We've done that last stream on Sunday. Uh, we've done deep line fishing. Now, we're going to try out some net fishing. I'm going to give it a go. Hang on, what's in season? Hang on, let's, let's, let me, just give me a second. Uh, sorry. Yeah, let's go on my little fishing schedule. So, we are in November. So, hate is coming to an end. Uh, lobster's starting, crab is starting, pollock, redfish and had a go in and that is it and cod starts in december so we're going to try some netting uh oh god what am i doing uh toggle full screen let's ping out of that bang there we go okay so we're going to try out net fishing uh, yes, we want to try the tutorial. So we're going to go into fish market, fishing gear, buy nets. We're going to buy 120 meter nets. And rob rich tourist sailors. Oh, that'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Uh, right, I'm going to buy five of them. 
and we're going to try them out. Five 120 meter lines nets. Back. Oh, and they want me to buy 75 meter. Three of them, is it? Uh, one, two, three. Bang. Okay, go to town, select crew. I'm going to sell my 75 meters. Because I don't want them. I only want 120 meter nets. Otherwise, I'm just going to get confused. Right, let's go back in here. Grab our crew. Crew has... Who's good at netting? You're pretty good at netting. You're both exactly the same at Metam. Awesome. I return to Orca. Let's make sure we're filled up. Bang. We pack a hole. Awesome. Da, 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 da. Leave in the docking area. We're leaving. All right, let's get out the docking area and then we're going to fast travel down to the point and we're going to see what fish we're going to get. Okay. Where's the marker? It's there. Okay. Uh, where can I get to? Is there any marker? Yeah, let's go straight to there. And then we're going to fast travel. Down to our netting point. Bang. Start fast channel. And there we go. Let's get down there. And let's see what we make from netting on this. We will find a method that best suits what we're doing. And we're going to we'll give it a go. No harm in trying. So what fish are they showing? That pollock. Down into the zone. Now you've reached the marker, it's time to set your first net. So let's do that. Uh... Stop driving. Pick up the net. Grab it. Prepare. Interact with the net setter. Go to the wheelhouse. Okay, so we just got to keep this thing in the middle now. Now we're in calm seas, so we should be okay. Now, if I go... Hang on. So, I can't fish and drive, so... I just let the thing drive. I just let the thing drive and we'll go with it. Uh, right, uh, da, 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 da. let's set that the maximum. Let's get some music on the go. Uh, what should we go for? Classic rock, maybe? Let's get some classic rock on. Okay, now that you've set your first net, you need to wait a minimum of four hours before you pick it up. Now, the time will now be skipped 20 hours is the optimum time and that should stay in the seat. Best time... Okay. Now you need to hold the nap. Uh, position the boat so that both of the boys are starboard on the right side of the boat. Oh, wow, look at that. Uh, start placing fish, select fish type. 
Bang. Stop. Place fish. Okay. So now... I'm going to... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Go backwards and spin round. I'm lucky I'm doing this on calm seas, really, am I? Okay, let's try and get over there then. So both boys are on the starboard side. I might have to reverse it around a bit more. I think I'm too thin. Oh well, okay. There we go. That's better. Yeah, both boys are on the starboard side. And then if I do that. Oh. Okay. Bang. Bang. Goes. And then that's whore in the net. Are you in position, mate? Are you ready? That's whore in that. Okay. Du, 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 du. When whore in the net, you need to press R2 when the indicator is within... All right, okay, I'm with you. Ah, I guess this is a bit easier than... Okay, I'll take that back. It's not that easy. So I'm trying to find a marker on the... I missed him. Did I miss him? No, I don't think I missed him. Mikey, I thought that was easy, but it's actually bloody hard. Good. Okay. I quite like this. This is kind of nice. Too early on that one. And there we go. So on one net there, I made 11,000 kilograms. Okay. Right. Let's have a look at what we got. I don't know what I got there. How do I see? We got. I didn't put a gutting table in there. Oh, I did. Yeah. Stop driving. We're on open sea, so we're all good. Got the fish. Run. Okay. Okay. Start. Huh, whoops. I can't stop.
That and fish is quite hard. So I want to be slightly below. That circle is off. Like, the circle is definitely off. Like, and I'm pretty certain in the game, it doesn't matter if they're like gutted or not gutted you still get the same amount for them yeah i think we got a load of these but for the sake of the tutorial we'll we'll got them even though my gutting skills are shocking Hey, five star, baby, baby. That's what we won. Da, 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 da. This is odd. All right, there we go. Let's keep doing this thing. This is the only thing that really lets me down with. Okay, that was good. Like, I'm pretty certain though, like I said, you, you get the same amount. Whether you got them or don't got them. So, don't stress too much about gutting. I will get your buddies to do it and... Uh, and you can't stab your hand. I did try. Ah, uh, there we go. Sorry, I'm being quiet here. This kind of requires some form of patience and hmm. oh big fish what the hell is that Like on a keyboard, this is really, really hard. With, sorry, with, with a controller. Alright, let's finish this gutting off then. And then, we can move on. Let's gut these fish. Da, 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 da. Gut the fish, gut the fish. Should be the last one. Bang. Okay. Sound your map to another net. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, 
I need to come down river from that. So we're going to go here, uh, here, and here. And then I can drop into it. Okay. Oh. That's, uh, wow, I wasn't expecting them to give me more thing. Uh, workers, we've already got him. I'm going to put you, mate, on hand gutting. Those. Oh, they're giving me a free net. That would be nice of them. Like, I'm guessing you've got to put the net out in specific places, though. But netting seems like a half-decent place to go. Like, it seems like you're making a good amount of fish. You could fill up the boat quite quickly. Like 11,000 kilograms per net. So, three nets and you fill up the boat. So, I've got a funny feeling this could be the non-tuner method that's going to get you the most money. If that makes sense. I hope that makes sense to everybody, but that definitely seems like the way. Like, lobsters were crap. We didn't make any money on crab on the lobsters. Think, what do we make? Like 100 grand on 36. That's just not worth it. And I've got a funny feeling, and look how quick that was as well. With someone doing the gutting for me, I would get the gutting machine and let them do the gutting for me. No fish were caught. Really? All right, let's see what we got. Log hatch. Bang. Right, so in here, somehow we've got cod. I don't know how we got cod. We got, we're not even in the season for cod. We got more silver hake than anything. No, we've actually got more cod than anything. How? Uh, eight. Seven, six, seven, eight is the best, which is at Yarmouth. So we're going to go and sell all these fish at Yarmouth then. Which is right there. I don't know how I managed to catch more. God, I'm not even in the seed. That really doesn't make sense. But I'm not going to complain. Like, I'm not going to complain. Doc? Would you like to sell the fish? Yes. 61 grand. Plus, 64 grand minus... 65 grand minus expenses. And 25 grand of that was cod. Oh, baby. But what I'm going to... I'm just going to sell everything here. Sell. Dark maintenance. Because... That is actually pretty good. And of course, we don't have to spend any money. Now, I've got a good spot over here for, for mackerel. So, I think I'm going to go down now. I don't know if we can catch mackerel in the... Uh, in the net, but I'm going to try. Just because it's not in season doesn't mean you won't catch them, just means you won't get the best price for them. Right, okay, I'm with you. Oh, no, my workers. Uh, slack, rest. I forgot to get the gutter machine. Close. Let's jump back to Yarmouth and get the thing. Just because, oh, right, okay, I thought, like, if it's not in season, you can't catch it. 
basically it's their way of preventing you from overfishing a population does that make sense gives them time to breed and so forth like that all right doc i forgot to do fishing gear no Ah, upgrades, that's why I was in the wrong one. Dark. Maintenance. Oh, I can't. Ooh, fish prices. Ah, I thought that. Alright, okay. I'm going to have to refill fuel now. I thought I could put the, the thing on, but I can't. Oh, that's why, isn't it? I need to do another net. I need to do another net before they'll let me change anything. But for some reason, even though I pulled in that net, it... that way, wouldn't that? Now, if I remember right, oh wow, look at all them! Look at that lobster! this way that's where all the mackerel was there was a load of mackerel all right let's get my worker uh resting repair gear 120s Those. Doesn't have to be done in a certain depth, does it? Oh, I'm going to set them up there. So you steer opposites to what that marker's moving. If that makes sense to you all. So if it's going to the left, you steer right. And if it's going right, you steer left. And uh, the, the storage compartment of the orca is actually a really good indicator. Just try and keep the marker in between the storage markers. There we go, there's one. Um, bang. Another 20 meter goes. I'm going to set another one, I think. But it manages your speed for you. Oh, I guess netting is interesting. It's not telling me how much of my net I put out, though. There you go. And then go in there. I'm going to rest my worker. Oh, come on. Bang, rest him. Goes. And now we're going to set waypoints. Now, I want it to be actually on my right side. So, there. 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 How long is that? 30 minutes back so now we're going to go in here and we're going to rest up for 
20 hours. Go back into this. They're on blue. Awesome. So I'm going to go in there. You, me, are going to go into the hall now. Oh, come on. And you, my friend, are going to go into the gutting. And let's go. All right, we got it. We got this now. We got this. We're, we're living up. All right, let's go hog in our first line. And we'll see. I have no idea. I do not think for some strange reason this is going to work. I have probably gone to an entirely wrong place and not netted anything. I just need to finish this tutorial off now. Yeah. Bad spot. Bad spot. Is this multiplayer? Hey, Josh Master. Um, no, unfortunately, this is a single player game, my friend. I know that in the beta versions, they are currently working on a DLC, and then they are saying that they are going to introduce and start looking at a multiplayer version of the game. So maybe in the future, it will become a multiplayer game. But at this present moment in time, no, it's just a single player, mate. All right, let's keep going. Your banner looks like a Seven Days to Die logo. Let's keep spinning this round. Shut the engine off. Go on. There you go. Right, let's go. Let's try and collect these ones now again. This is probably going to be another crap one. Go on. Go on, push me in, waves. There you go. Okay. Huh. Random. I need to find out where that netting point was. I should have saved it, really, shouldn't I? And stop at a certain point and no, nothing. Nothing. I'm glad you're well, Josh. We're looking for an abundance of fish, but it doesn't look like we're going to get any. Is it in here? No. Oh, God damn it. Oh, maybe it's there. I fucked up. No, okay. All right, let's, let's go back into port. We're going to get some bar tips to get the locations. Really? There's, why is there no music? Uh, recommended. Let's go for a recommended. And see what they recommend. I'm going to listen. This is pretty cool. 
No chaps. No chaps at Yarmouth. Vanish point. I need to make sure that I do um huh. maybe they'll give me here tips. Any tips in this bar? Ah, uh, no tips here. We best make sure we fill that with fuel. Nothing at Dangus Point. Lock pot, any tips? I need to find some fish. If we don't find some fish, we've totally messed up. And I don't think I saved it. So I totally cocked up the tutorial and now I'm stuck in a tutorial. <laughs> Which really messes me up. So I need to find some fish. Chips. Pollock, redfish, silver hake. Ah, oh, we're going to buy all of them. All right, let's let's hit that again. Is that the only ones? Yeah. So that must be it. We're gonna go there again and set some lines up on them and get those pollock, and then hopefully the tutorial will finish. But I think I fucked up. Not going to lie. Uh, where are you, guy? Yeah. Start placing waypoint bang. Please be Pollock. Uh. Ah, here we go. Awesome. Oh no, my workers. Let's go. And the sea's a bit rough and nice, so this is going to be harder. And go. Oh, man. This is a challenge, baby. I love it. I would hate to be doing this in rough seas. Come on. Oh. We're going to set another net here, I think. This is a nice little spot. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fine. Uh, stop driving. For some reason, he's not preparing on that. Let's go again. I'm loving this. Come on in. They're doing the speed automatically, which is handy. I 
I'm going to set three nets, I think. It'd be handy if they told you how far is left. That'd be nice. There's another one. Uh, stop driving. I'm going to set three of them. What we're going to do, we're going to turn away and start doubling back on ourselves. I think like this music is kind of dramatic and unworthy. Come on. Make sure I'm a hundred meters away at least. I sign that down, I gotta do. Uh, we're going, we're still going. Come on. Stay within the zones. And there we go. Cool. Now we're going to fast travel and I want to be on the right side. So I need to go from this way. So I need to rest now for 20 hours. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, stop driving. How long have I gone up? One hour, six minutes. So we're going to 20 hours. Oh no. That hole closed. Let's go. All right, first line. Let's see what we get. Lots of Pollock here, so we should be all right. We should actually haul something this time. I need to get this tutorial done so I can be back to normal, back to business. Bang. Okay. Cool. Uh... Got all these fish here. At least we got some fish this time. Hopefully now I guess we'll finish off the tutorial. Because uh because I fucked up. Well, just while we're running through this, folks, I hope you are enjoying yourselves. If you are, please do not forget to hit that like button. Massive help for me. And of course, if you're first time here, don't forget to hit that subscribe to stay tuned for all the other amazing content that live streams that we do. Um, we have got a couple of games on the go at the minute. Uh, primarily on PS4, we have got this, which is for Fishing North Atlantic on the PS4. Uh, we have also got... Uh, Gold Rush on the PS4, which we are doing a series on. Uh, we are also got Green Hell on the PS4, which we got a series on. Hmm. 
Can you see the boy? No, it is. Dead on my lap. Um, so yeah, do come and check out. Oh, we only got 7,000. Oh, I can't handle this music. This music is doing my nothing. Jesus Christ. Uh, laid back. God, that music was doing my nothing. My first song was good, but then after that, it just went bloody shocking. Right, let's go get these fish. We only got 7,000 kilograms. Last time we got 11. So I'm definitely in the wrong spot. And for the sake of the tutorial, I'm guessing... Finish hauling the net, bollocks. We fucked up. I need to quit the tutorial. Otherwise, I can't do anything if I don't... Yeah, if I don't get the tutorial, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Which sucks. Which means then the August will have been done for... I'll check the map again, I think. Unless someone knows a way to quit the tutorial. If you know a way to quit the tutorial, do let me know, because uh, <coughs> I could do a getting out of it. Escaping. Escaping the tutorial. I wonder how much fish I'm going to get this time. Hopefully, it'll be an improvement. 7,000 kilograms on the last haul. Nah, 7,000 again. Nah, I need it to be on my right side, so... I could actually sail down and get the next one. Can't see it yet though. Oh, there it is. I've lost it. There it is. I see it. Like my boys are meant to have lights on them. But clearly not. They just don't want to be fan. Right. Come on in. Come on. Get down there. Come on, me. Don't act like it's bloody hard work. It's not hard work. It's saying I'm going like seven, six or seven knots. It really does not feel like it. came in facing the wrong way. And that should now bring us down the right way. I'd probably fuck this up. Oh, 
on. Go on. Turn your beauty. Come on. Oh, it's so close yet so far. That is kind of upsetting. All right, there we go. We'll take two. No. Right, that, that, let's be a bit smarter. Man, I made a mirror of I tell you that. There we go. Okay, right, now go forward. Now, come on. I am making a disaster. Oh my god, I've missed it again. Do you have to switch the boys lights boy on? No, they should be on. Oh, thank god for that. Oh, what? Ah. Oh. oh, thank God for that. Right. It looks like I have messed up the the tutorial. <laughs> of all the things you could do, you mess up the tutorial and you can't escape that. Like I thought just by placing a new boy, I'll be all right, but really not happening. I really screwed up. I don't know how I'm going to correct that. How do I correct this? Six thousand. <laughs> Is it emissions? Ah, cancel. Right, let's see what fish I've got. Uh, storage. I think I've got more pollock than anything. There's no, it's not telling me what fish I got. Okay, let's see. Uh, catch. Bang, there we go. Yeah, more pollock. Okay, so let's go with the finances. Fish prices, let's find pollock. 431, 420, 425, 443. A Digby. Digby. So let's go to Digby. Pick us this one, no. Digby must be this one, no. Digby. Let's go to Digby. Oh, I'm so glad I managed to get out of that tutorial. Otherwise, that would not have been pretty. 
Alright, let's see if we make any money out of this. Now, we've got a good load of fish. We, we should make a bit of money. Alright, this dock. Yes. 85 grand. So it's not even worth it. Again. So, hang on, let's, let's, let's chat about this. So, what have we discovered? So, today we have tried out, we have now tried out all the different types of fishing that we can be doing on the ocean runner. We've done long line fishing, we've done net fishing, we've done lobster fishing, and we've done deep line fishing. Now, we have found that deep line fishing for tuna is the best fishing you could possibly do and i can show you that by going in here finances ledger look at that can you see that massive increase there from one point to over two million that is from is it in here is it in here is it 104 to it will be in here yes uh bang there we go so eighteen thousand kilograms of tuna which is there on the september the first at 2049 so eighteen thousand kilograms of fish at ingles head i got eight hundred and seventeen thousand for it that was tuna okay and that is clearly the most profitable profitable action that you can do in this game tuna it's all about the tuna now if i go back into my thing tuna comes into action uh tuna comes in in june now tuna has now finished because we are now in the 14th of november which is tuna out so what we could do if we wanted to is skip time and then go back into June, do a couple of days of just getting tuna again. Um, to get up our money to be able to do it. But I'm not going to do that now. But I am going to try my netting again. Netting is the second best way. Lobster. I don't want lobster. Lobster is just totally pointless. Like... You would think that lobster would make you a lot of money, but actually lobster has made us the least amount of money. Hang on, let's uh, go in here. Let's fill up the fish. So, tuna, this is definitely a tuna boat okay the sea run out if you want tuna that is what you want to do i'm going to head out here and i'm going to take a little drive and see if we can find an abundance of fish uh let's check our sonar on and we want to head this way Let's go find some fish. Let's go see what we find. But yeah, so that was kind of like the moral of this story when you got the the sea runner go for tuna tuna is the bad boy you get your tuna you'll be able to upgrade your boat pretty quickly if you have to skip through seasons to make sure you're in tuna season then i recommend it 100 percent recommend it to make a lot of money very very quickly now it takes me just as long to do all of the other actions than what it does tuna 
but I actually make a hundred times the amount of money. Now, apparently these wave things are meant to represent fish, but I'm not really finding anything. Ah, uh, come on. Nothing. Nothing again. Uh, we're going to set our barrel on course and we're just going to take a little trip down here. So that was kind of really disappointing. Now, I don't know what I want to do here, folks. Um, I'm half tempted to say I'm just going to call it an early night and do a bit of work off. Go, yeah. I, I really don't know what to do. Um, like, you could grind out or... You could skip the seasons and just go straight back to tuna. Crack out the tuna in tuna season. Yeah, do you know what? I'm fuck it. I'm gonna do that. Now I know the tuna are down south. We're gonna go down to Dennis Point. We're gonna change our rigging and we're gonna skip all the way through to tuna season. I wanna get some money. Now tuna starts in June, June first. So we're gonna skip all the way to June first. It's cheating. I know, uh, we're going to dock, fish market, oh no, in here, oh, go down to rigging, there we go, deep fishing, deep line fishing, and then we're going to go to uh, fish market, uh, fishing there, bait deep lines, and we're going to bait them all. Remove her in. Oh, they're already baited for that. Yeah, they're already baited for that. I've got, I got a load of unbaited lines. So let's bait them all up. I'm going to bait them all up for tuna. We're going to go back into the season on tuna. And we're going to do one haul of tuna. Just so you guys can really see and understand how tuna is called fishing not catching <laughs> now there we go we're set up for that now we skip time uh toggle skip a week bang skip time skip a week skip time skip a week Skip time. Look at the, the, the thing changing. Though. That's pretty cool. Skip time. Skip a week. Skip time. Oh, it's just before Christmas now. We're going to be doing this for a while. Oh, wow. Look at that. Skip time. Go all the way through to June. The second every March Let's keep doing it April May almost there. January, February, March, April, May, June. Okay, it's June that they come back in. Uh, tuna starts on the 1st of June. There we go. So skip one more week. Boss. And there we go. We are back in tuna season. Now I'm going to go into town. Back into the bar. 
tuna three days ago. Awesome. Purchase it. Back, 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 back. Back, 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 back. Maintenance. Fuel. Oh, come on. Dark maintenance. Oh, really? Come on, just... Right, before we go any further, I'm going to say before I go any more insane. Right. See? This is one of the bugs. You can't fuel up or anything like that. It's just... Where is that tuna? Yeah, okay. So, I'm going to go down to... I'm going to show me over there quickly. Don't have enough fuel. Let me dock and put bloody fuel in then. Right. Okay. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to call it a night. I, I give up now. What? I'm glad I saved that. Jesus Christ. Thank God for that. Okay. Done. Oh, glad I saved. We got our tuna spot there. So let's go to there. And then we're going to go up to the tuna spot. And I'm going to show you the tuna because the tuna is just phenomenal. The amount of money we make from the tuna is insane. I uh, start placing waypoints. There's my tuna. Now I want to start up. I'm going to go out here and come in just past this point here. Bang. Yeah. Let's get there. I don't know how my boat was destroyed and what happened, but it happened. And here we go. Yeah, this is it. Tuna is the way to go. I swear to God, tuna is the way to go. Right, I'm going to get you. I'm preparing my gear. And now hopefully... You can see the tuna just starting to come up the air now. I'm not going to do it just yet. Oh, actually, yeah, i got to start now. Now we're just going to run the line. All the lines, and we're just going to hopefully... Got an abundance of tuna. I've got to keep an eye on that depth meter and make sure that I stay over 100 meters. Oh, he didn't bloody like set the line. There we go. Let's go. See, it feels like we're going a lot slower than six knots, doesn't it?
Fine. So we're gonna go set out all of these and then we are going to make a lot of money. It is ridiculous how much money you make off tuna. Oh, why am I going that way? that way I wish there was a way in which they would just keep setting the lines for you instead of you having to press the green button to make them set a line it doesn't make sense to me like why would you not just do the job that you've been paid to do Come on in. Look at all that tuna, baby. Problem oh, is, in shallow water and deep water, so I'm probably going to have to do a couple of different lines. I might get one or two more lines in here. Maybe, yeah, maybe two lines in here. And then I'm going to have to turn because I go below the 100 meter line. Hmm. Okay. But this is the money maker, guys. And this boat was built for this. Tuna all the way. Right, now I'm going to have to turn course to stay in the deep water. Bang on a hundred meters. There we go. Da. You will click it so it's highlighted green and close the worker window and just watch him. Yeah, he wasn't doing it. Now you can see that it comes off. It's not staying on automatically. I need to turn again. Hey, this is going to be a fun pickup truck. There we go. Now close the window. He's not bending over for me. Huh. Crossing over my lines. Yeah, now he did it. Yeah, now he's working. Sorry, lines. Crossing you. That plane? Or is it Superman? Zoom in, you'll see him. 
Ah, so uh, I, I trust you. I can just see I can set the line, so... Now, this is going to be an interesting load of pickup. Hey, Hartford. Hi. We got this. There we go. We'll keep pushing this round. Stay in this deep region. So I'm using the map down in the bottom right. That lighter blue area is below 100 meters. And you don't want to be putting long lines in under 100 meter depth. Because they won't be effective and you will not get as many fish. So keep them in a hundred over that hundred meter mark. And then you should be all good. This is kind of fun setting it in a different way actually. I had the same problem in the beginning and it drove me nuts. Oh, it drove, it drove, drove me nuts. I was like, well, why can't you just set what I ask? <laughs> and then everyone's a winner. But no. They wanted to be a bit of trouble, of course. Now we're going down there. How are you this evening, Hartford? That's pointless. Ah, oh, no, we'll keep going around. It's fish here, so. Yeah, we still got loads of. No, now they're dying off. But we're going to spin around now. We got 21 lines in. Running out of tuna. Right, let's go back up then. See if we can get some more. There's definitely some more now. Got this line in. Ah, we're going to be crossing over shallow water, but I can live with that. There we go. We're below a hundred. We're below a hundred meters, so we're not going to put lines out now. And we're going to be sneaking back into this dark blue, darker blue. We should be coming into it any minute now. 101, there we go. Back in the deep I want to make sure I stay in it, so... There we go. I don't know how many lines I'm going to get in here. Maybe another two lines if I'm lucky. I am usually run ten lines going around and do ten more so I set all 40. Nice. That's a good way of doing it. I've just gone like on a little racetrack. Come on, let me get one more line in at least. Yes. And the question is, am I going to be able to get another load of lines down that middle? Oh, guys, we are going to have some fun collecting these lines.
<laughs> and there we go. We'll finish up as many as we can here. Bit more return. Let's stay in the middle of them. Jesus, guys, this is going to look a right mess. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely more organized than me than Hadwood. I'm an absolute mess. Look at the state of me. <laughs> Are we going to be able to get one more in there, do you reckon? Nah, I don't think we're going to get any more in. No? Okay. Look at that. <laughs> Crikey. That is a disaster. Uh, two hours. So I need to rest for 18 hours. Anchor, 18 hours. Check them out. Yep, they're all good. Crew member, bang. Deep line hall. Deep line hall. Goes. And let's start this wonderful trip. Hopefully I'll be boarding some fishing vessels soon to do some inspection. That sounds pretty cool. Like, do you have to stay on them for a long time, Harvard? But like the guy said, you're going to be really busy. Yeah, you can tell I'm a rookie of all this, can't you, with the... Three fish on there, nice. Let's see where we're at with storage. Now you can't move while you're bailing them in. So, let's have a quick look. Where were they? Let's just go there. Yeah, Right, and let's move on to the next ones. I'm actually surprised how long that took me. Hang on, let me. I'll pull up by here and I'll see what you've got because that's. Uh, no, the Coast Guard does like 30 minute inspections while at the sea, so we board them via the FRCs. Uh, we have them board and check documents, trawl size and stuff like that. Awesome, what a job! Mate, are you like a real life Kevin, Kevin Costner? So why I'm saying that, because he done that uh, Coast Guard film, didn't he? <laughs> so, sorry, I, I know that's probably really bad of me to say. Um, but um, that's really, really cool. Uh, the Coast Guard in this country were very different. We just see people uh, that are in trouble on. Um, we don't, we're not like, we don't govern it. That's done by like a government agency, a different government agency. But you guys have got a Coast Guard, which are pretty cool because you go out with like proper living, living it out. And can you confirm what an FRC is? I kind of want to know what an FRC is. I'm guessing it's a helicopter, is it? Or is it a fast response? What country are you So I live in uh, Wales, which is in the UK. 
so yeah we we don't really do any of that stuff over here we do all the our coast guard are all about cliff rescue sea rescue like our coast guard we monitor so i used to be in the coast guard for our country and basically what we do we monitor the low water mark to the shore to the high yeah from the sh from the low water mark to the high water mark on the coast and then the rn ally do the out of sea stuff frc fast rescue craft which is a very fast rescue boat well if it's got fast in the name of it then it must be fast <laughs> but that is such a cool job we have the sps royal navy and the police on our coast yeah that's it so we're governed by like yeah we're overseen by the navy essentially But no, I can't, what was, it's the Guardian. The movie's the Guardian, isn't it? Uh, the Faroe Islands. So we have the Danish Navy doing the Coast Guard, and now Coast Guard is classed as security and rescue vessel. All right, okay. Because in the UK, we're just rescue. That's all we do. We don't. Security is all handled by our naval. But thank you, Sheehan, for putting me right. But no, it's pretty cool how, like, it'd be pretty cool if we, because it's a full-time job, isn't it? With, because then, like, I know, like, in America, being a Coast Guard is actually a full-time job. And then, but over here, the Coast Guard is voluntary. Like, we're a government, they, they're a government agency and they're paid by the hour. But it's, it's mainly classed as a voluntary job, if that makes sense. I'll be operating the FRCs, which is really fun. That is awesome. So you're the skipper. Yeah, that is fun. That's the fun side of it, isn't it? You get to drive the boat. Or skipper the boat, as you technical terms, isn't it? Which is pretty damn epic. Now, if I can go back with... 18 about 20,000 kilograms of fish that will be a million pound and we've got 5,000 of six boys so we're, we're looking good we are definitely looking on the right path to be getting a million pound and then what I'll do, I'll be finishing the stream once I've collected all of these. And then I'll do a bit off stream. And I'm probably going to upgrade. I'm only 16. Wow. That is insane. Mate, I tell you what. You are the luckiest 16 year old in the world. I have all the courses and even a boating license. Nice. That's pretty cool. Like, I got a license for up to a 16 foot. Which I'm quite proud of. But I, I didn't get that until I was early 30s. And you got it at 16. I'm jealous. Mate, you're living the dream. Absolutely living the dream. And like, you're definitely a role model to other 16 year olds, man. Being 16 year olds. And at that stage in your life is insane. It's immense. Congratulations. That's a wonderful achievement, mate. Like, I'm 35 and I'm jealous. <laughs> you got up to a 62 foot. So a bit bigger. A bit bigger. A 16 years old, man. I'm jealous, mate. Absolutely 100% hands down jealous of you. And that's coming from an adult, a 35-year-old man. <laughs> so where's the Faroe Islands? When you're taking a sea fishing then, sheep. 
we can go halves on a boat. Mate, do you know what? I've, I've said that I really want to go. For my birthday, I've said that I really want to go and have a go at some deep sea fishing just for a, a laugh and a joke. Not do any skippering or anything like that. Just get someone, hire a boat for a day and a skipper. Just go out and have a go. Ah, oh, what? I have a friend who's just turned 17 years of license to sail boats up to 100 tons. Holy smokes, that is insane. Between Scotland and Iceland, right. That is, in, that, that is incredible. I am extremely jealous. Like, I'm glad I haven't got my camera on because I'll be blushing red with envy at the minute. That is insane, mate. Like, wow. But no, I, I have said I just want to go sea fishing. I just want to have a go and see what the whole... I'm not going to make it. Just give it a go. Like, it'd be awesome to have a go at sea fishing. Google Brimmel. Right. I know, I'm not going to do it right this second, if that's all right. Uh, I'll do it after the stream, Hartford, but that is... Yeah. That'd be a cool job, man. A very, very cool job. Oh, mate. That is a boat. That is like... Hang on, sorry. I just Googled it quickly while I was waiting for that. And like... That is like... Do you know the point in... Um, in... Uh, Crocodile Dundee where, where uh, Nick turns around and says, That ain't a knife. This is a knife. Like, that is what you have got with a boat right now. Like, that boat is insane. Like, fair play, mate. Fair fucking play. Excuse my language, but I'm blown away. How much have we got? Okay, we've got coming up to... We're coming up to 10,000, which is good. So we have now got 8,261 kilograms of tuna. I think I'm going to have to expand my tuna. I'm probably going to have to expand my tuna. Quota. Because I think I'm going to do it. I'm on as an apprentice, so after that I'll be able to attend Maritime Academy, which takes three years. Biggest ship in the world, you're like, oh, Jesus Christ, mate. Come on. The turning circ circumference of these boats is in tiny. I have to reverse that. I'll be the youngest person to graduate with a degree in the Danish Kingdom. Congratulations! There we go, we land. Oh, thank God for that. Jesus. Well, I'd never get around that. How are we looking? Okay. That is awesome, mate. 
Fair play. You better stay true to it though, mate, and come back and come back to us in three years and and be telling us some amazing stories of all these different things you've done. Okay, we're just coming up to 10,000 now. And we are not quite... We are not quite 50% done yet, which is good. So at this rate, we're on, we're on tally for a million quid. We get a million quid. The steering in this game makes me very angry. So unrealistic, it's just bad, mate. It's insane. Absolutely insane. Especially for a boat this small. It should have a better turning circle, but... I suppose they've got to make it a little bit difficult. Like side thrusters are useless, they're both controlled together, and the big ship is useful. Oh mate, the thrusters don't even work. I gave up on the thrusters very, very quickly. And you're right at James. <laughs> it's insane. It just go on, please get in there. Please get in there. Yes, good lad. Come on, get us over that threshold. Please hit me with about 10,000 mark. Almost there, almost there. Come on, to over 10,000. Yes, there we go, over 10,000. We should make the quota. We only got 30 lines in, so if we can get another 10,000, we'll be taking home a million quid. Go in, go in, go in, go in, go in, go in, go in. Really? That's just to wind me up, isn't it? Right, let's... Now... Um... Alright, let's go backwards and spin it in a little bit. <coughs> oh, excuse me. No, so when you get into the bigger boats, oh mate, I'm not looking forward to getting into. I am kind of looking having, looking forward to having a go at trawling. Like I want to see how much of a difference, money wise, I make, and if you actually make a lot of money from trawling, because at the minute I don't really know. I have seen people in the Discord saying that they make an absolute bucket load of cash, but. Uh, I'm not entirely convinced. I could tell you try it. Because right, this makes me a million. And yes, it takes me a while. But it doesn't take me a great deal of time. Oh, we've got three fish on that. Uh, have you trawled before? Um, not in real life, I haven't trolled, but I done it in Baron C and it was really bloody hard. Right. 
it was really hard to learn. It's a very steep learning curve when it comes to patrolling and balancing. Um, but I haven't trolled in this game yet. I need to um, refresh my skills. I make about four months, four. Okay, but it takes a couple of hours to fill. And that's it, isn't it? It's like the time you got. When it comes to a game like this, you've got to justify the time over the, the money. And yeah, it's. And is it worth it? Like the amount of stress, is it worth it? I'm not going to reach that one either. You bugger. I regret speed running that. Like, I don't think... I got to hear him, he's in like, like nine hours. Well, we've what? So on stream, I've done... This is episode three. So I'm on about nine, ten hours now. And, uh... Which troll am I on about? Just any old troller, really. Like, you just got to justify the means, the cost to run it, the time it takes to fill it, and how much money you make, isn't it? It's just natural. From a, from a money perspective. Like, and this doesn't, this isn't exactly a short run, to be honest with you. This is actually going to take me a little while. Um, but I think in the Baron C I used... Uh... Yeah, in the Baron, let me give you some very important advice. Please do. Don't troll. <laughs> Play it for fun. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? It is fun. It's the same with any game now, if you're not playing it. Like, if you, um... It's the same with any game. If you don't play it for fun, then what's the point in playing it? Oh, there we go. Only one fish on that one. How much are we up? 25. Okay. Two fish on that one. We got 14,000. We should get at least 17,000. If we get at least 17,000, then I know I'm going to make about 800,000. If we can reach 20 kilograms, 20,000 kilograms, then I'm pretty certain we will be making. A million quid. And then that's going to put us just shower of three million. And I'm probably going to have to do one more haul. And then next stream, we can look again on a different boat. But which boat, I don't know yet. Just a different boat. Alright, this is the last one down here. And then it's back up there. Awesome. Crikey, we're actually getting some good fish in this. I believe that the company DLC, you own a company, you put your fish from your Lunga in the company building, they got them freezer. That is awesome. Right, I'm going to quick travel this.
Ah, uh, stop placing fish. Ah, uh, start placing waypoints, remove waypoints. Go down to there. Then back up. That's pointless. I may as well just drive up. Personally, I love the long lining aspect as I know someone that owns a very modern one, but these are quite boring if I'm honest. Well, like, I've never reached the full capacity of the boat. Never reached it. Like, I was hoping, kind of hoping, we might reach the maximum quota the maximum load on this, but I don't think it's actually going to happen. You're not going to make it. Uh, we might make it. Come on. Come on. Really? Just come on. Yes, we made up. Three fish on that one. Awesome. Only sustainable long line is the pioneer. But it's a really ugly, boring, bad shit. Wow, you've really sold that to me, mate. <laughs> you sold that bad boy to me. <laughs> 16,000. Just short of 17,000. And once I got this one, I'm going to be turning hard right. All right, come on in. Let's get this one. Come on. That turning. Oh, my. Go on, get it. Get it. Yes. Around. Last I used it, I got pushed around like a plastic bag in a tornado. It was horrible. <laughs> oh, I love it. That does kind of sound like fun, though. If you search up Calculator and you see my friend's long line over here, it's quite nice. And that's what I'd like to see in the game. Like, well, I know at the minute they're working on a DLC, which will be out on PC, um, which will not be out on console until December, and, and that's going to be Scallops. Which will be interesting. And then, apparently, they're going to start working on multiplayer, which will be nice as well, because then you can have a fleet of boats. Shire Water. I thought I was, oh, I thought I was in deep water still, but clearly I messed up. Like a scarab one, I'm a beer taster, nice. It's quite cool, is it cool, is it? That's good, and at least there's a little bit of hype behind something like that. Because, yeah, it would be interesting. Like, we were chatting on Sunday about the game, and we were saying how it would be cool if you could have a uh, a harpoon DLC or Easter egg where you've got to go out and you've got to, like, get jaws. And uh, jaws can destroy your boat unless you harpoon it quick enough and stuff. I thought that would be pretty cool. Uh, where are we at? Uh, 17,000. There we go. There's around about 800,000 pounds worth of fish on this boat now. 
which is creepy. I'm just sailing around the ocean with 800,000 pounds worth of fish. 800,000, yeah. I guess whole haul is going to be worth over a million pounds and I'm just driving around the ocean with it. Personally, I'm a bit disappointed that it does not take away how cool it is only because it's not new boats. Well, what? The team is Norwegian, aren't they? Are the team Norwegian? This game's Norwegian? So I'm guessing they're going to primarily use the boats that they, they use around that sort of region. That's... And I suppose boats like the, the Luna Bow are quite common boats around there, so they're going to mainly use them. But, uh... But I don't know. God, this is taking me a lot longer than what I was anticipating. I'm going to have to turn down this way. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Come on, then. Let's go. Three more lines. We've got nine, just short of 20,000 kilograms of fresh fish in 30 lines. <coughs> I think if I manage to get 40,000... 40 lines out, we will be looking way over a million. We'll be looking close to a million and a half. Right, but I suppose a million quid is a million quid. I could do without in real life. That would be very nice, but... Ah, uh, last three. Last three lines, ladies and gents. And then we're going to go and hopefully be millionaires. Well, I'm already a millionaire, but I'm already a millionaire. Oh, shit. No, I have no idea. I'm alright. Oh, no. That sucks. Like, there's always going to be aspects of any game, though, that disappoints us, especially with simulations. Because you've got a thing, like, a simulation, just a very real-life jobs, real-life experiences that you, you compare to. Especially, oh, I'm not going to make that. Especially when you, like, come from a background in that, such as, like, of course, like, with the fishing... With this game, if you've got a background and an experience with fish and fishing boats or just sea crafts in, in general, you're going to be slightly disappointed by it. It's just natural as the way any game will ever be. Like, because you always compare it to what your experience, if that makes sense. Now, I don't have much experience with, with like, the fishing, like, don't get me wrong, I've, I've sailed and I've done sailing boats and I've done ribs and small motorcrafts, but never a fishing boat. So this is, I've got nothing to compare it to in real life. And like, and I'm sure you all understand what I mean. And it's just the same with any simulation game. Like, if you've got an experience in it, then you're always going to have something to compare it to. But I suppose I'm lucky in the sense that I don't have that. All right, last one. Woo -woo. And job's a winner. Last one. Two, two fish, two tuners. Yeah, two of them. 
I'm basing everything off documentaries I've seen. Right, okay, fair enough. Uh, 19,300 and not bad. Right, let's go into finance, fish prices. Uh, where are you know, 54. Wow, they are high. 54, 50, 48, 81 is the best. And that's a Yama, so we're going to head to Yama. Is that a Yarmouth? No. This Yarmouth? Yes. Let's go to Yarmouth. Let's sell the fish. We're going to do the Getty cheat first. Like it's a Nori cheat, I guess, game. But it's it's so worth it. It saves you so much money. There we go. Uh, then, so don't sell your fish. Go into town. Go into your crew. On board. Rest the crew house. Bang. And then leave the port. Uh, crew required. Yes, we want to leave. Then we dock. And now we sell. And there we go. So that says it all, guys. Okay. So for this catch, I am going to make... An in net income of 1.130 million. Like, wow. That is a big haul. Huge. And that just proves a point that you make the most money from tuna. And there we go. That's insane, isn't it? Absolutely insane. Uh, hey, Sheep, I sent you a screenshot of a game on PS4 for you to check. Is that the Dinosaur game? Dinosaur Hunter, is it? I can't remember what it was called, Jamie, but I did get a message from you, I think, and I did look at it. Um, I just haven't got time to play any new games at the minute. Um, I'm so jam-packed with everything that I'm doing that it's just manic. Uh, as much as I'd love to say, oh, I can play, I want to play it, I can play every single game. I really can't. I just can't justify it with time. Um, right. Why we're here, let's have a look at some boats. Shipyard. Available. A Dexter. What's this? Uh, a freeze trawler used for bottom trawling. This ship is rigged for fishing cod. Pollock, Haddock, and Redfish. Yeah, you definitely make the most money like that, which I why I moved on so quickly, found it quite boring. I don't understand why you start with a harpoon boat. Should have been the Borg again. Yeah, I'm with you. Right, so there we go. There's a trawler, and that's the Dexter. It looks pretty cool. Not gonna lie, 13 knots really powerful but yeah so what i'm going to be doing next stream on this now i'm not going to be streaming this now um for a little bit um i'm going to go back to gold rush next tuesday of course on thursday we are playing green hell which i'm thinking we're coming towards the end of the story now and then on sunday we're going to phasmophobia back to the old school phasmophobia Tuesday, Gold Rush. Thursday, Green Hell. So, so yeah, it's going to be about two weeks until we play this game again. Uh, the Dexter is my favorite fish of all time. Favorite ship of all time. Nice. That might be the one we have to try again. Um, but yes, ladies and gents. Now, I'm going to call it a night here. I am knackered. My voice is going. But I will be back on Thursday for Green Hell. So, until then... Please, ladies and gentlemen, if you have enjoyed the stream, please do not forget to hit that like button for me. Um, don't forget to hit that like button. And of course, if it's your first time here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now, I'll be back on Thursday for Green Hell. 
But until then, thank you very much, everybody, for coming to join me this fine evening. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful evening. And Hadvig, if we don't see you, good luck on the boats. Hope you enjoy it. Um, and I will speak to you all on Thursday. But until then, have a wonderful day, night, whatever time it is in the world for you. And I'll see you on Thursday. Bye for now.